On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install your cam bolts onto your uh, timing chain. Now, in previous videos, you've probably seen we went ahead and installed a new timing chain on this and a new timing gear. I have it up on my channel. Just check out my playlist, LS Engines and More. They have plenty of subjects on how to pretty well build an LS engine, and because we did a few of them so far. But what you want to do when installing your new timing chain and gears, well, these bolts, you just take your old ones out and replace them with new ones. But if you're here and you ain't did this before, you got a dial here, and it always points to this side of the engine. If it's upside down, this right here, this side, if you got it up, will be on the right side over here. Uh, if you're facing the engine, this is top dead center. You want to make sure that piston is top dead center, and you will have a dot and a dot here, and these two guys line up. Now these two is lined up perfect. I mean, I could probably move it over just a little, but if you look right here and here, we're dead nuts on. We move it over any. We'll be off, but just to show you, to move it some more, but okay, we moved that time. We're way off. See a dot? Don't line up. We need to move it over some. Just turn it over some more. Just like so. Now we're too far, so we're going to have to turn it over some more. That's demonstrations. Just make sure you got dot to dot. And this is top dead center on this cylinder and you'll be good to go because you can't get this 180 degrees at a time and you don't want that so if you're doing it with your heads on make sure it's on compression stroke top dead center make sure it's a dot to dot so if you're just replacing your bolts then uh just take one out at a time put these in it so when installing these it says 25 foot pounds that's fine uh it says use lube too uh, I'm just going to put a little Loctite on mine. Just a little. It don't need a lot. Just because, peace of mind, uh, follow your instructions. This is just what I do. Put a little Loctite on the dreads. Screw it in. A Loctite works as lube to its hardens. Took my glove with me. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Sure ain't nothing underneath that. You want to stuff every one of these by hand and you want to torque them little by little. Now you might have to uh, put something here to hold this as you torque these down because the engine might turn over on you. And they torque down at 25 foot pounds. Now if you're using inch pounds you need to convert that. They make uh, converters onto uh, online on google so so just to double check i actually went and got my uh quarter inch well not my quarter inch but my half inch drive set it goes down to 25 foot pounds exactly let's just check and see how close we got them okay maybe we didn't get them fully 25 pounds that one is That one is this one. This one moved a little. Yep, everything's good. Might be a little hell over 25 foot pounds, but it's good enough. Uh, lot tight on it. Let's turn this over. Two rotations. See what we got. We should be good to go. That's dot to dot. We top dead center. We good to go. So this is fully torqued down, seated. This engine is coming together great. I need to decide to reuse the old uh, oil pump or replace it. We got new bearings if you've seen the previous videos. New cam bearings. This is floppy stage two in here. 
uh, if you're new get subscribed go check out the ls playlist on my channel and uh yeah tons of video content on it but oil pump i'll be able to put the windage tray on oil pan front timing cover front pulley then we on the heads and uh pretty much dropping it into the truck but this was a big step it did need a new chain if you've seen the previous videos so if you found this video helpful or just enjoyed this update video let me know in the comment section i appreciate it i enjoy hearing from everyone don't forget to drop a like and i'll see you next time thank you for watching